YouTube channel and welcome to day six of Vlogmas. So today is going to be a little bit different. Today has been a completely uneventful day and I just couldn't put together an exciting vlog. So instead, I was inspired by one of y'all's comments that asked some of my favorite Christmas foods. So I thought that today I would share three Christmas appetizers that are simple to throw together perfect to take to a gathering or just to eat at home. They are so quick and easy to throw together and absolutely delicious. So let's go ahead and start making some Christmas appetizers. The first appetizer we're gonna make is sausage balls. I actually have a keto version of these sausage balls. I will link that down below in the description. But today we are making the sausage balls that my family grew up making. They are so delicious. There are four ingredients. You're gonna need an all-purpose baking mix. I usually use Bisquick, but my grocery store was sold out. So this is like an off-brand Bisquick. A block of cream cheese a pound of hot pork sausage or regular sausage if you don't want a little bit of heat, and some shredded sharp cheddar cheese. Normally, I would shred it off of the block, but the block I had in my fridge was moldy, so we're just using what I have on hand today. And that is the four ingredients you're going to need. In a mixing bowl, I'm gonna add an eight ounce block of cream cheese. I just zap mine in the microwave for a couple of seconds to make it a little bit easier to stir together. Now I'm going to add in my pound of pork sausage. I'm just gonna use a handy dandy tater masher and start incorporating the sausage and cream cheese together. Now I'm gonna add in a cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And lastly, I'm gonna add in about one cup of my baking mix. Now I'm gonna go in with my God-given tools, AKA my hands, and I am just going to mix this all together until it is completely combined. Now that it's all mixed together, I'm gonna pull off maybe a tablespoon or two of my mixture and roll it into a ball and set it aside on a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper. You want all of these to be about the same size. I'll see you in a minute when all of the balls are done. And my sausage balls are ready for the oven. I'm gonna stick them in my 375 degree oven for probably 15 to maybe 20 minutes or until they are done. You can check them with a meat thermometer, make sure the sausage is cooked all the way in the center. So let me pop them in and we'll see you in a couple minutes. And after 20 minutes in the oven, my sausage balls are cooked and sizzling hot. So I'm gonna let them sit here and cool off for a couple of minutes. And then we're gonna plate all of our appetizers together. The second appetizer we're gonna make today are Brie Bites. And you're only gonna need three ingredients and you can throw these together in under five minutes. So you're gonna need some of these phyllo shells. You find these in the frozen section. Mine was near like the frozen fruit. A thing of brie and some preserves. You can do cranberry. I chose fig because I like fig, but feel free to use whatever fruit preserve that you like. But I chose fig because that's what I like. To make these brie bites, I'm gonna begin by cutting my brie wheel in half because we only need half of this. So I'll save this other half for a cheese board or something. Now with my knife, I'm gonna cut this into about half inch cubes. This is truly just about the easiest appetizer you will ever make. So I have a piece of parchment paper on a cookie sheet and I am just gonna lay out my little phyllo shells on here. Now I'm gonna place a cube of brie into each shell. And the final step is taking your preserves and adding maybe half a teaspoon or so of your preserves on top of your brie. And just like that, our brie bites are ready for the oven. I'm gonna pop them in my 350 degree oven for about seven to eight minutes until that brie is creamy and absolutely delicious. See you in just a minute. 
I just pulled my brie bites out of the oven after eight minutes at 350 degrees. And as you can see, that brie is melted. Those preserves are melted down into the cheese. And these little one bite brie bites are absolutely heavenly. The third and final appetizer I'm gonna be sharing with y'all today are some festive ham and cheese pinwheels. This is another very simple to throw together appetizer. You don't have to cook it, just make it, pop it in the fridge, slice it up, and it is ready to be served. So let me show you how to make them. To make the ham and cheese pinwheels, I'm gonna begin by adding two softened blocks of cream cheese into a mixing bowl. I'm gonna add one packet of Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning mix and half of a cup of shredded cheddar cheese. Now I'm just gonna mix this together until it's all combined. And this is why you wanna make sure your cream cheese is soft because that makes this so much easier to stir together. Once I've got my cream cheese mixture all mixed together, it is time to start assembling these pinwheels. To make them look kind of festive, I am using these green spinach wraps. I'm gonna lay my wrap on my cutting board and I am just going to spread the cream cheese mixture from edge to edge of this. Once you get your layer of cream cheese on your tortilla, it's time to go in and add the ham and some green onion if you want to. So this is just some deli ham that I sliced up into little tiny cubes. So I am just gonna take a handful and sprinkle that ham all over the top of this wrap, as well as a little bit of green onion. And now I'm just gonna roll this wrap nice and tight making sure that cream cheese kind of acts as a glue to hold this all together. And what I'm going to do is refrigerate this for about an hour or so, and then we'll slice it up into cute little pinwheels. You just wanna refrigerate it because it makes it a lot easier to slice. And now I'm just gonna repeat until I run out of my cream cheese mixture. My wraps have been hanging out in the refrigerator for a little while, so now it's time to slice them up and reveal our beautiful pinwheels. Just look at how beautiful that pinwheel is. They are so pretty to display on a tray and they only took a couple of minutes to make. Are y'all ready for the final reveal? I don't think y'all are ready for this. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, ain't that beautiful? We've got our little Christmas appetizer smorgasbord. Like if you saw this at a party, wouldn't you be so stoked to come over here and try any of this? Like, isn't that beautiful? We've got our pinwheels, we've got our sausage balls, and we've got our little brie bites, and it looks incredible. Well guys, I hope that you enjoyed how to make these Christmas appetizers for day six of Vlogmas. If you enjoyed it, please give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so. And I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye guys. Mwah.